whipped cream. You know I like whipped cream. And, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the way you serve it, just like that. Well, you know, this recipe was really too easy. We should, too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for me. We, <laughs> you're doing it See right. That? Yeah, yeah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. It's really a show. I mean, so I wasn't ready. Okay. You got your re viewer mail. Now I am. Yes, right. now I am. Right. Now I've got my it? composure. Well, right. welcome to another edition of At yes. Home on the Range. It's a good looking audience. Yes. You're getting yes. better. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are we making tonight? We're making a. Uh, what are we making? I've got I don't know, I'm just a here stirrer. It is, here it is, right here. We're making Santa, Santa Fe chicken. Santa Fe chicken. Santa Fe chicken. It's kind of a Mexican thing. Mexican well, thing? Well, not Mexican. It's kind of Southwest. Where did you How's get that? this recipe? I, I, got a bunch, I got some cards in the mail, like this. Uh huh. And they wanted you to subscribe and buy a whole bunch of other cards, but I didn't. I just kept the cards that they sent. And this is one of them. The free ones. Yeah. It's not uh, a bad okay. recipe. All right. So how do we start? Well, we start... Uh, uh, I gotta cut this chicken up. Okay, so why don't this you cut the chicken, chicken up, All right. and then can I read some viewer mail? Yes, do. Because I have some good stuff. Do that. Okay, viewer mail. I'm supposed to mail. cube this chicken. There's, 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 if you'll pardon the expression, two chicken breasts here. What size chicken breast? About a 36. Oh. <laughs> Is that an A or a B? Well, it's Newport Beach, it's a C. <laughs> I got some great stuff. Um, oh, do you know that there is a new show that's coming on Fox Television called The World's Funniest? Yes, you and told me about it. And it's a clip show, kind of like America's Funniest Videos, only it's not home videos. It's from it's kind of bloopers from television and uh, movies. And they called us up and asked us to submit some clips, which was kind of hard because our whole hard. show is is <laughs> the blooper. Yes. Uh, so he said, well, he wanted things that were a mistake. <laughs> so take yeah. your pick. <laughs> the whole show is a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so we submitted it, so I don't know if, we'll, if they'll use any of our clips, but we did submit them. And, you know, if you're watching this show and it's not 1997, like it's years from now, we'll probably still be on the air, but that show won't, because we've outlived everybody. Yes, we have. You know, every show we've been on has been canceled. That's right. And I'm sure. The Home Show, Eye to Eye with Connie Chung. Yes. Crook and Chase. Yes. We're the kids of death. Yes. <laughs> Crook so and Chase are, are getting reactivated. They're in getting going to get reactivated. In yes, yes, yes. So we can go back there and put them to bed again. And then there's, <laughs> there's this other, there, we got a fax from Columbia TriStar Pictures today um, that they are in production of a children's series called Channel Up D3. And it's a children's show that's going to be on Saturday mornings. And it's the beginning of the show. Boy, it looks like you're chicken. surfing through the, cha through the channels. And they're going to use a clip of us, I think. Oh, that's great. So we'll be on that. But they're not going to give us any money. like No, and way. it's only going to be five seconds. So you yes. have to look really, really fast. Oh, boy. This must have been a big chicken. Wow, it was. Chicken. It's a lot yeah, of chicken. Well, that's good. That'll keep you, you busy. You know, it was probably a turkey. <laughs> 
will will use turkey meat interfacing with chicken, don't they? I don't know. Well, like you're a I chef, haven't. shouldn't you know? No, I'm not a chef. <laughs> if I was a chef, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got a lot of faxes this week. I got so many jokes. I mean, people are faxing me tons of jokes. Thank you. Keep them coming. Say, maybe we ought to put together a joke book instead of a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've probably got as many jokes as I got cook as I got uh, recipes. But I am working on the cookbook, and now I'm thinking that maybe we're going to go into the CD-ROM with it instead What's that? of just well, it's like the new computer thing. So I'm, but I am typing all these recipes. So you just got to be patient. It takes a while. I'm not the fastest typer, you know. Did you know that? Yeah, but we stole all the recipes. How can you do that? Well, I changed one or two things. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> all right. I just kind of make them up. No one's going to make that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Here's one thing that I got, which I thought was kind of cute. Dear at Home on the Range, I love your show, and I feel like I know you two personally since I've been watching since the very this beginning. This is three tablespoons full of vegetable oil. Okay. Three and a half. I admire your honesty with your audience. I don't know of another cooking show where the chef talks openly about his many heart surgeries, back surgery, and stiff hat problems, or where, <laughs> or where the star admitted she wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> I don't. Are you not wearing any? No, yes, you no, are. No, I am. Yeah, you and, are. and I have to clarify that. Yeah. I did have underwear on. I mean, I just didn't have a bra on that night. And he asked me, he goes, boy, that's a really great bra. Is that your wonder bra? I go, no, I didn't have one on. And, and a friend of mine saw that show, and she couldn't believe I said that. Neither could my mom. I not, couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. Not only are your recipes too much fun, but so are you. And that's from Sybil Connors. She must not have much to do. <laughs> Obviously, neither do we. Um, okay, then Steve Barner faxed me this, and it says, The Office Prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I cannot accept, and the wisdom to hide the bodies of those people I had killed today because they pissed me off. <laughs> Help me to be careful of the toes I step on today as they may be connected to the butt that I may have to kiss tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Oh, that... <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Yeah. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. That, is... that was great. That was great. And then I was looking through um, Cosmopolitan Magazine and People Magazine, and because we are a food show, I found all these things that you could do with food other than eat it. What? There's a fly. What, what is that, Barbara? Okay, and this is not just like with whipped cream, okay? Um, this is a guy named Joey Green, and I'm going to hold this up so you guys can get it. This came out of People Magazine, and he has, a, he has a book out now. And what he does is he tells you what else you can do with food. For example, Spam, which is something that he is just a favor of, uh, makes swell furniture polish. <laughs> I kid you not, this is in the thing. And it says here that Tabasco sauce can be used to stop your cats from scratching the woodwork. That's Spread right. To, tabasco sauce on it. You know when I had a, when I had a uh, paper route when I was 14 years old? Uh -huh. There was a big junkyard dog that used to chase me every day. It was terrible. And I got a water pistol and I put some <laughs> Tabasco sauce in it. Yes. And it works. Really? So you drove that, your that, bicycle with Tabasco sauce? No, I squirted this dog. He never chased me again. <laughs> work. Well, it also says here that you can wash your hair with whipped cream, which I didn't know because I found a lot of uses for whipped cream, but that was not one of them. <laughs> and, and it says here that uh, you can use Jiffy peanut butter instead of shaving cream. Not the chunky kind. Though. You mean to shave with. Right. Oh, you know to what? I with. just, hey, that's going to catch fire there. You know what? what? I found a, a quick way to shave. I shave with electric razor, you know? Yeah. And I've got, I had four of them because people keep giving them to me for, uh, for Christmas. And if you take two of them and, and get them both going and then go with two, 
You can shave twice as quick. <laughs> yeah, you can. Try it. Try it. Too try bad you don't it. have a third then, hand. No, no, I do. Now listen, and then after you get done, different razors will will do difference. And they've got another kind that will only cut the whiskers when they're just little old stubbles. Uh -huh. But after I get done with the two, then I take the third one and then I go over it. And, and, and I feel how smooth my face is. Isn't that nice? Oh, yes, it See? is. All right. But there's a lot of times when you've missed big patches on your face. Well, I can't. That Does was, this go in there No, now? no, no, no. What Read your stuff. What goes in here? Read your stuff. The chicken. Doesn't anything go in here yes, yet? Yes, the chicken. Read Are we stuff. frying this? Ch yes. Well, we're, okay. we're, we're sauteing it. All right. Well, I need frying glasses. I'm not going to take any chances. What? Our, um, excuse me. My spoon, frying glasses are gone. Our spoon is missing. My favorite frying glasses are gone. Spoon, our black spoon is missing. Well, I could care less. I want to know where my red frying glasses are with rhinestones. They are my absolute favorite. Somebody's been in this kitchen. Somebody has been in this kitchen. we got to turn that fire. Oh, my goodness. That I'm fire is much too hot. so upset over that. I'll have to use these instead. We just about burned your stuff. Oh, okay, stir. gosh. Stir. Boy. Oh. Well, my red frying glasses better show up soon. That's all I got to say. I can't believe it. Well, there is a lot of other things that I found here that you can do with the food. This one says that, um, you know, you can put um, cucumbers on your eyes. Did yes. you know that? No. It brings down the puffiness in your face. Really? Yes. But then you smell. So will, so will Preparation H. <laughs> yeah, That's it will. true. Yes. It will. Yes. I found them. Good. Thank you. Gotta put a little, little bacon in there. Now I feel like me. Okay, so we have chicken and fatty bacon. Ooh. Bacon, yes. For the arteries. For the arteries, yes. that's right. Boy, you know, my, I got my, my cholesterol test the other day. Yes. And my cholesterol was 167. And the ratio was 3 to 1. Is that good? That's real good. Oh, that's good. It means I won't have any surgery for maybe a year or two. <laughs> yeah. Well, we like that. Yeah. And my, my, my heart doctor called me up to congratulate me. And he asked me, he says, what do you attribute that to? And I said, well, probably the laboratory screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I had a physical. I eat a, lot of, I eat a lot of fat stuff. You do? Yes. You, you do. Yeah. I had a physical for the first time in almost 20 years last week. Did you? Yes, I did. Did you have a girl doctor? No, I had a man doctor. Really? I went to your doctor. And you got naked? I got naked, but oh, wow. I made the appointment three months ago because I want to make sure I lost a bunch of weight before I went. <laughs> and it was kind of interesting. I imagine it was. I don't know, though. I think I still like, I mean, I like the doctor, but I like women doctors. Do you? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just kind of easier. Is it? Don't you like women doctors? I've never been to a woman doctor. Really? Never. No, no. I don't know. It's kind of weird, especially when the doctor's your friend. Yeah. I think women should stay in the house and cook. <laughs> I don't know about that. And have babies, yes. Really? Yes. Oh, God, no. Wake up. It's the 90s. People well, have... they got out long before that. You know what got them out was the automatic transmission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before the automatic transmission. What can I put in here? Before the automatic transmission, women stayed home and cooked, <laughs> had babies. Yeah. And that wasn't bad enough. Then they come along with automatic washer. And oh, wow, that really did it. <laughs> History Channel the other night, they actually had a whole thing on the washing machine. Did they? And the history of the washing machine. And I couldn't believe how women really had to clean things in the olden days. I would have just thrown them away. They worked all day Monday. <laughs> no. Really? No, my mother worked all day Monday. Yeah, all, cook, that's how cook. they got that's the right. phrase Blue Monday because right. that was laundry day. Come on, hurry up. Why? What's your hurry? <laughs> we got 14 minutes left. <laughs> What's your hurry? Well, we got, yeah. 
But this does nothing to This is a no-brainer. Is this a no-brainer? Yes. You always say that, and then at the end, when it doesn't work out... My nose is running. You blame it on me. My nose is running. You what are just we, having the worst time with your nose what tonight. If, what, what if we run out of tape? What happens? I don't know. <laughs> we got four, 14 minutes is plenty. If you don't have to read too much. What more else of that comes? Stuff. What else goes in? This is very beige. I hope you have some color happening just here. Just keep stirring. Because this would be very boring. Keep you stirring. You keep on stirring this. It's like mesmerizing, you know. And then you would fall asleep and fall off your shoes and burn yourself. Have, <laughs> Barbara does fall off her shoes. I do. She did that once, boy. Really beige. What is all this? Well, those are different um, levels of spoons for measuring. Now this is chili powder. I saw that on a cooking show. Stir, Barbara. <laughs> okay, that gave it some color. That's very so. nice. I hope so. Chili, That's chili powder. powder. That, that okay, was, uh, so that'll spice that was a it up a bit. a tablespoonful of chili powder. Okay. And a tablespoonful of crushed garlic. Tablespoonful of garlic. Yes, yes. Okay, so now we've got it a little spicier. Yeah. Did we, we didn't put any salt in there, did no. we? No. Yeah, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Make it too spicy yeah. and it's a butt burner. <laughs> have you still got some more stuff to read there, Barbara? Huh? Yes, I have a bunch of stuff. You know, we went on vacation recently over the summer. You know, we tape our shows in clusters, and then we take off for a while. So it's been, what, about three weeks? Ow! <laughs> Barbara, watch your language. There's, oh, that is there's, there's children in the audience. Damn! There, there are there's children in the audience. You know what? This stove is getting really dangerous. We oh. need a new stove. We, no, it's all right. We turn the fire down a little bit. Well, anyway, we haven't taped shows in like four weeks, and we went on an RV trip together. Yes, we did. He, his wife Donna, my husband Stan, and he was in his RV, and I was in our RV, and we had a really nice time. We went up to Washington well, and almost, Oregon. Well, almost had a good time. You know, we stopped someplace, and their, their uh, satellite television thing didn't work, and it was a place where there was no TV. And Barbara broke out crying because she couldn't watch TV. I mean, well, really, big sobs. And well, you know what? I, I never was an RV before, and I was a little nervous that I would get a little claustrophobic in how I would deal with this. And I was dealing with it okay until I think it was the fifth or sixth day, and we pulled in some place, and there was no TV, and then I started to cry. And my husband was just beside himself. He didn't know what to do with me. But then you had some videotapes, and I was okay. Yeah. Clean, clean ones, which you weren't used to, but that's all right. They were good. Actually, they were a series of tapes. Whoa. Um, Deanna Durbin movies, so I watched Deanna Durbin for a couple of days, and that was okay. Boy, that was a switch for you, wasn't it? Let's see. Did we, did we put any, any uh, No, we didn't put any. What is that? We didn't put any of that in. It's pepper. What's that? Oh, wow, one escaped. Oh, we got to put these... <laughs> We gotta put these tortillas in. Putting the, the tortillas in. In the, uh, in the microwave. There. But I had a very nice time, except we would eat dinner together. But I would make sure I would eat and you know make my own stuff. <laughs> and you know what? I thought that he would drive a motorhome better than he drove a car. <laughs> we were driving at night one time. But we passed everybody. <laughs> we did. We you pull did. into the space and he goes, you know, we really shouldn't be driving at night. I can't see a thing. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't see good at night. Little Pepper. But what okay. was the funniest was when he pulled off the freeway and realized he made a mistake. So he calls us on the CB and he says, well, I'm just going to go cross this four-lane street and get right back on the freeway. But the white lines in the street weren't lines. They actually were a divider and a curb. <laughs> but I slowed down when I went over it. He did. He boomity, boomity, boomity. And he went right over the curb, towing a vehicle. Yeah. But I had to go quick because there was a lot of traffic coming both ways. <laughs> <laughs> we were well. following him in our RV. I couldn't believe it. My husband said to me, what would you do if that was us? I said I would have got out and called taxi immediately. <laughs> I'll tell you, your wife is a brave woman. She doesn't pay attention to that at all. What is all this stuff? Have you got, have you got some more stuff, stuff there? Oh, I had so much.
much stuff. I was going to tell you about my Disneyland thing. Do you know there's a really big problem at Disneyland with women exposing their breasts? At Disneyland? Yes. Really? You know there's that log ride that comes down and they take your picture? Well, as a goof, people are picking their shirts up. And then they, <laughs> and then they display the pictures. And the park doesn't know what to do about it. <laughs> I saw that on the news. I'm serious. And you know, that never occurred to me. But the next time I go down, I'm going to flash. Oh, boy. OK, Here. are we ready? All right, we're ready. Here, that's, that's, that's going to be a little bit heavy. OK. OK. Oh, boy, this looks so good. Yes, it actually boy. does. Boy, this looks Surprisingly so good. enough. And we put it in this, in this casserole here. And, uh -huh. we got, and we serve this with tortillas. With tortillas. With tortillas. Tortillas are in the microwave. They should be about warm, ready to go. Okay, well, then put it on our sky wait. cam. We got one more thing to do. We got to. What are we going to do? We got to put. The, oh, parsley, just like in Denny's. Got to put the parsley on. It. And here's our tortillas. Yes. Are they warm? Yeah. All right. That's it. No, 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 oh, no, no. We they put them on the side. Down. They go on the on, side. On, on the side like this. On the yeah, side, yeah. like that. Yes, yes. And that's enough for about four people if they don't eat too much. If they don't eat. So you yes, would take yes. this stuff and put it inside no, this no, stuff. No, no, no. You, you put it on a plate that. and then you eat it with the tortilla, like it was bread or a roll or something. So then why don't you just have a bread or a roll? Well, you could. You could. You could. Okay. But then it wouldn't be so southwestern. Oh, uh, okay. This is south. Well, I thought this was Mexican. Well, that's no, really not really Mexican. It's there's, there's too many Mexicans around here. We can't say that. Okay. So it's, it's southwestern. It's southwestern. Southwestern, okay. yes. Regardless, another successful dish. We're all right, out of here. All right, all right. Okay. Let's put this But we have a few minutes left. Let's watch some funny clips from some classic moments of At Home on the Range. And then there's this one here. I saw this one, too. This is from the Full House Bar and Grill. It says, liquor in the front, poker in the rear. Barbara. Barbara, How can you tell whether an orange is from Florida or California? I don't know. How do you do that? Suck on it. And if it sucks back, it's from California. <laughs> Oh, well, then we got to set, take it off the fire. Take it off the fire. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So now this is blackened garlic. Ooh, another one got me. I think I need a bib. Wait. Okay. Uh, gee, I didn't think that silicone would burn. <laughs> Look at what? I got this in the store for myself. It says, I want to be Barbie. The bitch has everything. <laughs> I was going to suggest it. Yeah, all right. This is our recipe. Don't let anybody see that because this is copyrighted and we don't want to. Okay. All right. No. Okay, so I'm supposed to just do this. Yes, just do that. And then don't bother me because I've got to do this over here. No, the little ones, the little ones here. See these little things? All right, all right. Now, this is a cup of graham cracker, uh, graham crackers that I just went mm -hmm, and then swooshed it all up. And, uh, well, this is, I'll be here is, all day. No, you won't. This is, it'll be good if you are. This is a quarter of a cup of sugar. One quarter of a cup of sugar and, uh, that looks like some butter. butter. Some butter. I can't remember how much. It's on the recipe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> on the recipe. And this is cinnamon. Two. I don't remember that either. <laughs> cinnamon. Oh, it's going to get in your jewelry and all. Good thing I clipped your nails before we started. She did. So wonder my fingers aren't bleeding. <laughs> well, I give him a manicure every now and then. Because I like to stay in practice. You know, I did go to beauty school for a while. She took the test four times. Well, I don't think we need to talk about that she part of it. And she never passed it until her, her father bribed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to put some, where's our, what do we do with our, with our butter? Here it is. Here our make-believe squirt yeah, butter. Yeah. Okay, so we squirt some more in here? And turn, and turn the fire on. Is that enough? Oh, shit. 
You know, this is why I have not progressed from story. I do not get good directions. I can't understand why you didn't pass that test. Boy, before you got your implants, you must have been a total loss. I took him to the dressmaker with me, which is a big mistake. Because, you know, and, and he thinks he has wonderful taste in women's clothes. Well, his taste is if you look like a hooker, you're on the money. Yeah. yeah. That's absolutely right. Ask anybody here. They'll tell you that's right. That's right. Hookers are the only well-dressed people in the world. If you don't have a incredible cleavage and a skirt that you can't even walk in, he says you look like a man. That's right. <laughs>